Greetings, uh, farmer son prepping. Uh, greetings, YouTube family. Uh, today it's going to be, I'm trying to think, the fifth uh, in the series of uh, new to prepping. Start here, my series of uh, prepping videos for beginners. Uh, so let's go through them all again. Step one would be water storage and water filtration. Multiple ways to do both. You you should have that at this point. Uh, step two is food, canned goods, dry goods, freeze dried food. You should have at least six months of that. You should have that accomplished at this point. If you do not have these things accomplished, then stop and go and do those things first. Uh, this is a series. It starts at the first one and goes on. So uh, there is a prepping priority. Uh, you need water first because you're going to need water to make your food with. Uh, okay, so you need potable water. That's number one, always. A ways to filter that water. Ways to purify that water. Number two is food, okay? I know I'm just reiterating all this, but uh, two is food, uh, okay? Number three is sanitation. The aftermath of food, you have to have sanitation to deal with that, okay? So number three, sanitation. Toilet paper, paper towels, wipes, those type of things. Uh, a five gallon bucket commode. Okay, we got some goings on over here. Sorry, uh, people going up and down the driveway. Um, number four would be security, a way to secure your stockpile and secure your family. Uh, number five today is medical. Okay, so I'm going to combine medical in with stockpiling your medications as well, because that's part of your medical. This makes sense to me, but uh. So, part five in the new to prepping start here, step-by-step -step prepping series, medical. Here we go. Okay, over here, this is my personal IFAC. IFAC stands for Individual First Aid Kit. Uh, I've kind of got it tore apart here for you so you can see what's going on. Inside here still, there are some... Uh, alcohol prep pads, some boo-boo stuff, okay, uh, roll galls, a uh, couple of roll galls is in there. Uh, here we have my uh, combat applied tourniquet. This is a Gen 7 North American Rescue. That's what I recommend. Uh, of course, you always need gloves, exam gloves. Uh, you have to protect yourself before you can help anybody else. Quick clock galls, got a couple of those. Uh, this is just a gauze that has been treated with a clotting agent. Uh, and it's easier and quicker than trying to uh, apply powder to a wound and then gauze. So uh, here we have a compression bandage, also known as an Israeli bandage. Uh, so there's one of those. We have shears over here, North American Rescue again. Uh, and make sure you're getting the real stuff, y'all, not the Chinese knockoff, okay? Uh, hyphen vent chest seals. You always want to have two of these, especially if you're somebody who can seal carries. Anybody that carries a firearm should definitely have a couple of chest seals. You have to think uh, entry and exit wounds. That's why you need two. And just some gauze dressings over here, okay? So that's the end of the first aid, individual first aid kit. Over here, uh, I have a tackle box that I have assembled. Uh, it's an old fishing tackle box and uh, I spray painted it red. Uh, as you can see, it used to be green right there. Uh, I lovingly call this thing the farm fact. Uh, if anybody gets hurt out here on the farm where I live, dad or anybody else, uh, you know, if I'm running to help somebody else, this is kind of my go-to. In here, you'll see more Israeli bandages, plenty of tape. Uh, there's some peroxide in here, just all sorts of stuff, different size bandages, 2x2s, two 4x4s. Two four four uh, what's this right here? 
abdominal pad, ab, ab, I didn't say that right, abdominal pad, uh, coal compresses, coal packs, of course plenty of rolled gauze here, gauze sponges, gloves, up here we have some anti-diarrheal medications, some safety pins, you never know what you're going to need to hold a dressing on, y'all, so I threw some of those in. Some little baby band-aids, rolled gauze, all this right here. This is my SWAT tea tourniquet. Uh, some eye drops in here. Artificial tears. You just try to think of a little bit of everything. You know, of course, uh, the antibacterial triple antibiotic ointment. And then you have the uh, zinc ointment i believe this is burn cream nope hydrocortisone cream right there and germ shield so uh a little tiny baby pair of shears for something cutting the dressing with uh more band-aids let's pull this back down here so we can well this sorry y'all Yeah, right, I'm fidgeting. Here we go. Now then, up here we have a couple more chest seals. I always remember you have two of those. I don't know what this is. That's a paperwork out of a tourniquet. Some bleach stop here if I need it. If I run out of the quick clot, we got some backups on that. Uh, some different type of gauze. These are some of those. Okay. We got some plenty of alcohol prep pads, moist towelettes to clean the wounds with uh, before you treat. Uh, and get training. Uh, get you some bleed stop training. There, uh, there are many bleed stop courses on YouTube. You can look those up. Uh, I think there's a, like a basic and an intermediate. I think anything advanced you would want to go and take some on-hand training. Uh, pay the fee, get your training set of tourniquets and all that stuff up front. Uh, so this is my farm fact right here. <laughs> this is what I call it, the farm fact. It's an old tackle box. So uh, you know, you can you can build your own you can build your own kits, okay. But just get quality items to put in your kits. All right. And again. Uh, you want to stack anything your family uses as far as medicine or vitamins goes. Vitamin D3, multivitamins, painkillers right here. Uh, it's like we have some uh, generic Aleve and some ibuprofen. Prescription meds, whatever your prescription meds are. Allergy medications, whatever your family uses on a, on a pretty regular basis. Uh... And also, I would add to this antibiotics. Uh, I have some antibiotics on hand. Uh, not a whole lot. And you can use some older antibiotics if they're expired. You can use those. There's research on that. Go look it up. Uh, so, that's your uh, that's your medical video for today. This is going to be a long one, it looks like. Uh, outside here on the back porch. Thought I would get this one done for you today. So, step number five. Okay. Let me just put you back how I had you here a while ago. Here we go. Maybe that'll work. So, uh, step number one, water storage and water filtration. Step number two, food. That'd be canned goods, dry goods, freeze-dried food, whatever you like, whatever you'll eat. Get those. That's step two. Step number three is sanitation. You have to have ways to deal with the food. Uh, you know, we covered that already. Sanitation. Wipes, toilet paper, paper towels, uh, cleaning wipes, Clorox wipes, all that sanitation. Okay, forward would be security. That's your firearms. Uh, a way to secure your home, a way to uh, secure your stockpile of goods that you're working on. And today, medical number five, uh, medical and medicine. Kind of go together. 
So, uh, that's your video for today. I pray you, uh, stay, stay on task. I know you can get overwhelmed. You see all these things you want to purchase online. Stay in the order, y'all. I'm telling you, if you work the plan, it'll work out for you. You won't have one thing that needs this that you don't have. So, work the plan. This is Farmer Sound Prepping, y'all. Have a blessed day. God bless you all. Prep up.